Psalm 21. Begin reading verse number 1. The Bible says, The king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation how greatly shall he rejoice. Thou hast given him his heart's desire, and hast not withholden the request of his lips. Selah. For thou preventest him with the blessings of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest it him, even length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation. Honor and majesty hast thou laid upon him. For thou hast made him most blessed forever. Thou hast made him exceeding glad with thy countenance. For the king trusteth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. Thank you for the good singing. Thank you for the good time of prayer. Thank you for being a good God. Now, Father, I pray you'd help us now from the Scriptures. Help us to glean from thy truth, grow in your grace, and have a greater appreciation for you and your glory. God, we do pray again that you'd be with all those prayer requests, even those that we might have left out. They're all vitally important. But, Father, now I pray you'd hedge us in. And God, do something special for your people. Speak to our hearts. Glorify your name. Use this unworthy vessel. We'll bless you for it. For it's in the holy name of Jesus we do pray. Amen. Amen. In these verses, we find th three things about King David. I want you to notice, first of all, the source of David's rejoicing. Verse number 1, it says, The king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation how greatly shall he rejoice. Uh, David was known for his praise. Uh, David was known for the psalms that he wrote. Uh, but never lose sight uh, about the source of his rejoicing. Uh, the psalms that he wrote, uh, the praise that he offered, uh, was all because the Lord in whom he'd come to trust in. Uh, Friend, if you don't know the Lord, uh, you really don't have anything to sing about. Uh, you really don't have anything to brag about. Uh, but oh, if you know Him, uh, you'll find one that's altogether lovely. Uh, you'll find a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. Uh, you'll find the lily in your valleys. Uh, you'll find when you uh, find yourself in an ash pile uh, and you're scraping boils with a pot shared, uh, you can still say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, hey, uh, I'm glad for the soul of our rejoicing uh, and his name is Jesus uh, we see the source of David's rejoicing notice if you will the sum of David's request notice what David had asked for in verse number 2 he said thou hast given him his heart's desire and hast not withholding the request of his lips Selah means think about what he's about to say God gave him his heart's desire and did not withhold any of the requests of his lips. Now notice what he don't ask for. He don't ask for houses and lands and temporal things. Look at what he asked for. Look at the sum of his requests. Verse 3, For thou preventest him with the blessings of goodness. Uh, thou settest a crown of pure gold upon his head. Uh, he asked life of thee, and thou gavest him even length of days. Uh, forever and ever uh, he said you blessed me beyond my deserving uh, I even made me the king and put a pure crown of gold on my head uh, he said I asked for life uh, and you gave me length of days even forever and ever uh, hey uh, maybe it was when he was facing that lion or, or facing that bear uh, and he said God just let me live uh, and he slew the lion uh, and he slew the bear uh, maybe somewhere after trying on the uh, armor he got over in a prayer closet brother Bob uh, and said God let me defeat this giant to your praise and glory uh, and God heard his prayer uh, hey but he said not only did he spare my life uh, he gave me life uh, forever and ever uh, what a blessing uh, he said look at all that God's done for me uh, we see the source of his rejoicing the sum of his request but notice the substance of David's reign. Look in verse 5. He says, His glory is great 
in thy salvation. You know, uh, they used to praise David. They said, David has his tens of thousands. He was known as a great warrior. Everybody loved David. Everybody praised David. Uh, and David is saying, uh, uh, the substance of his reign can be found in this. Uh, his glory, David's glory, uh, is only great because of this. In thy salvation uh, and the Lord's salvation, uh, he says, honor and majesty thou hast laid upon him. Uh, for thou hast made him most blessed forever. Uh, thou hast made him exceeding glad with thy countenance. Uh, uh, David said, when I look at God, all I can say is, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Uh, he said, uh, uh, for the king trusteth in the Lord, uh, and through the mercy of the Most High, uh, he shall not be moved. Uh, the substance of his reign was the fact that God reigned, and David was God's man. Whoa, oh, what a blessing. I'm interested tonight in verse number 7, where the Bible says, for the king trusteth in the Lord. I want to preach with God's help on you can trust the Lord. A lot of things you can't trust. There's one thing you can't trust in. The Lord. 150 times in your King James Bible, in the Old Testament, you'll find the word trust. That word trust means to rely on. I can report you can rely on the Lord. Huh? means to lean on. I've got news for you. Everything can be crumbling around you, but you can lean on the Lord. Uh, he is the rock of ages. Uh, means to stay upon. Uh, Brenda, you don't need to stray. Just stay upon the Lord. Everything will be all right. Uh, means to bank on. Uh, I've got news for you. Uh, the government can go broke, and it is. Uh, the banks can go awry, and they will. Uh, hey, this world can uh, be set on fire, and it will. Uh, but you can bank on the Lord. Uh, you can trust in Him. Uh, hey, He's the same yesterday, today, uh, and forevermore. Uh, hey, it means to be confident of. Uh, hey, I don't have a confidence in a lot of things going on in this world, uh, but I am persuaded uh, that He, the Lord, uh, is able to keep that which I've committed unto Him against that day. Uh, I'm utterly confident uh, that God is the A and the Amen, uh, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Uh, everything he said, you can bank on it, friends. Uh, hey, uh, means to give credit to. Uh, you know why we come out on a rainy, cool uh, Wednesday night? Uh, to give credit unto the Lord. Uh, he is worthy of our praise. Uh, he is worth worshiping. Uh, hey, it's a joy and a privilege to come out and see him. Uh, means you can believe in it. I want to tell you something, you can believe in the Lord. Uh, when heaven and earth pass away, His words won't pass. You can believe in Him tonight. The world thinks we're crazy. We may be nuts, but we're screwed on the right boat. Are you listening? Uh, one of these days, the great white throne judgment, they'll see how right we were. Mm. you can trust in the Lord. Can I say this first of all tonight? You can trust in His promises. You can just trust in Him. In Psalms 33, 4, the Bible says, For the word of the Lord is right, and all His works are done in truth. You can trust in His promises. Never one of them's failed. Never one of them will not come to pass. Are you listening? Most of them have been fulfilled. If not, they all will be before it's all said and done. You can trust in His promises. Uh, I remember when Jesus was praying the true Lord's Prayer over there in John 17. Uh, 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 he prayed this. He said, Sanctify them through Thy truth. Uh, thy word is truth. Uh, hey, if Jesus said it's true, I'm going to hang with it. Hmm? You can trust in His promises. Hmm? Brother Brian, when he said He'll never leave you nor forsake you, He meant it. Hmm? Uh, when he promised that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, he meant it. Uh, when he said, uh, uh, let not your hearts be troubled, uh, believe in God, believe also in me and my Father's house or many mansions. If, I, if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again, receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. When he said that, he meant it. You trust in his promises. He's a coming. Hmm? Could be tonight. Be all right. Hmm? 
Wouldn't it be wonderful to have Lord's Supper at the marriage supper? You can trust in the Lord's promises. Can I say this secondly tonight? You can trust in the Lord's pardon. You can trust in it. Uh, they say the presidential pardon can't be broken. I wouldn't put anything past what's going on in this world. But I know one pardon can't be broken. The Lord's, huh? Isaiah said in Isaiah 55, 7, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, uh, and he will have mercy upon him, uh, and our God, for he will abundantly uh, pardon. Uh, that mean he'll just partly pardon? Uh, he'll abundantly pardon uh, every sin, uh, every forward way, uh, every wrong thought, uh, every wrong deed. Uh, hey, when God set his seal of pardon of forgiveness on your life... Uh, Friend, you're forgiven. Uh, you're pardoned. Uh, hey, your sins are gone. Uh, and yeah, God will never break His pardon. You can trust His pardon. You can trust His promises, huh? Aren't you glad that God doesn't take back His promises, doesn't take back His pardons? Hmm? You no, know, if He could, none of us would make it to heaven. Hmm? Can I say this? You can trust His plan. A lot of times, the plan of God doesn't line up with our plans. A lot of times, the plan of God may be even foreign to us. But even, friend, when you don't even know what's going on, you can still trust Him. You can trust His plan for salvation. God made it so simple, even a child can understand. You realize you're lost when you realize you're a sinner, when you realize that your sin uh, uh, transgresses the law of God and you uh, 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 are sorry for your sins and you're willing to turn unto the Lord Jesus Christ uh, 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 who shed His blood on Calvary, uh, who gave His life, was buried according to the Scriptures and rose according to the Scriptures uh, and He rose victorious over death, hell, and the grave, uh, paid your sin on Calvary. Uh, you're willing to put your faith and trust in Him uh, and repent of your sins and ask him to forgive you uh, a friend he will and you can trust his plan see the Lord Jesus was the lamb slain before the foundation of the world and that's always been God's plan that folks would be saved through the Lord Jesus Christ you can trust his plan the plan of salvation you can trust it can I say this his plan for service you can trust it God's no respecter of persons he has the same plan for all of us hmm? that we put him first Mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. That we become faithful. Just faithful. Just do what He said to do. Walk the way He teaches us to walk in the Bible. Talk the way He teaches us to talk in the Bible. Uh, live like we're supposed to live by the Bible. Uh, if we're all faithful to the Bible, guess what? God will bless. He's got a plan for service. He doesn't expect any more out of me than He does you. He doesn't expect any more out of you than he does me. Hmm? It's amazing, though. Everybody thinks a pastor is supposed to do everything. Show me chapter and verse for that. Hmm? Oh, we're all accountable. and We're all fitly framed together. Oh, I have an office, and I have a, I have a, a great, great responsibility, but so do you. You say, well, I'm, I just come to church. Well, that's still a great responsibility. Hmm? You can trust his plan for service. You can trust his plan for separating. One of these days he's calling us out of here. You can trust it. Hmm? Hey, either by the grave or by the trumpet, it don't matter. You can trust it. Hmm? Uh, I'm not afraid of dying. I'm not looking to, you know, tonight. But if that's his plan, I'm ready to go. I'll just trust his hand. Hmm? But if he chooses to let Gabriel blow the trumpet and with the shout of the archangel, we head out of here, I'm ready to go. I'm trusting his plan. He's in control. There's not a person in here who can add an inch to your stature. Hmm? You can't change anything about your makeup. You can't change anything about tomorrow. But you can trust him. Because he is in control. Hmm? You can trust his plan. Say, preacher, why is everything going on like it's going on in the world? It's all part of God's plan. Say, how can you say that? Because if it wasn't, it wouldn't be going on. Now, I don't understand it, Brother Phil. I don't understand all about all the pandemic, all about what all is going on in this world. I can, I, my head hurts trying to think about it. I'm sure sick and tired of hearing about it. I think most people are. 
I'm just tired of it. But it all came into fruition because it's part of God's plan. I've been preaching for 30 years that America would never become part of a worldwide government unless America fell. Why would we depend on Turkey and Italy and India and all these absolutely pot sheared of economies when our economy is the engine that runs the world? I'll tell you why. Because the powers that be, scary word right here, the Illuminati that is running this thing, they want it all to come together. They're globalists. And ever since the first President Bush, America's been on a path to a global society. Hmm. And you can vote Republican, Democrat. You can vote donkey, elephant, or armadillo. It don't matter. Not everybody that's candidating is what they say they are. And the truth be told, they really don't care about you and me. If you think America's a democracy, you need to do a little history lesson. We sold that ship about 120 years ago. America's a republic. And I've got news for you. It's all part of God's plan. Because it's all going towards the Antichrist. Who the Antichrist is going to be the one who purges Israel during the Great Tribulation period. Got good news. Time that booger shows up, church is gone. All part of God's plan. Mm -mm. I'm just going to trust him for separating. Don't mean I like it. I don't like some things going on. But I'm sure he didn't like it when he was walking among men. But he still fulfilled God's plan and went to the cross. Mm -mm. You can trust his plan. Can I say this tonight? You can trust his paths. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Solomon said this in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not unto thine own understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. You can trust his paths. So what paths are you talking about? What path do we need to walk and follow down? Well, the path of prayer. You can trust it. Uh, God speaks to us through his word. We speak to him through prayer. God hears and answers prayer. Prayer moves the heart of God. You can trust it. Hmm? Don't quit praying. Miss Harlan, don't quit praying for your son. Hmm? Miss Barb, don't quit praying for your daughter. Huh? Don't quit praying for your, your, your daddy's friend. Don't, don't quit praying. Don't quit praying. Don't quit praying. Praying is what moves the heart of God. I promise you this, when we get to heaven, it will be revealed we didn't pray too much. You can trust his path of prayer. Can I say this? You can trust his path of praise. God still inhabits the praise of his people. You start praising God, he'll show up. You can trust him. Hmm? You can trust his path of prevailing. Uh, there are times that you go through things, but God will help you prevail. Hmm? Just like that song they sang with Job. Hmm? The interesting thing about that whole story on Job, God never spoke to Job. Job had no idea what God was doing. Job just trusted God. He didn't find out to the end of the book what was going on. And then God blessed him with twice as much as he had before. Neighbor, when all this is over, you wait and see what God blesses us with. It's a whole lot more than you got right now. And it's going to be a whole lot more than you lost. Trust me, huh? I didn't lose anything getting saved. I've gained, I've gained, I've gained. But wait till you see what he's got in store for us. Huh? For the sufferings of this present time not worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. Uh, you can trust him, friend. Hmm? Thought about this. You can trust his personification. Hmm? Say, so what are you talking about? That's a big word. You can trust it. You can trust the fact he's Lord. Hmm? I don't need to look for another. He's the Lord. Beside him there is none else. You can trust in that. He's Lord. Hmm? He has no equal. He doesn't even have one to challenge him. Hmm? Quit giving the devil credit. The devil's powerless before God. The devil doesn't have any more power before God than you and I do. 
God is Lord. Revelation 19, 6 says, For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Omnipotent means all power. Doesn't mean 99% power. Doesn't mean 90% power. Means all power. He has all power. He's the Lord. You can trust in that. I say this, you can trust in the fact he's lofty. That means he's holy. There is no variance with him. There is no sin with God. There is nothing to look upon him and find any disappointment. He is holy. He is beyond the greatest form of purity we can think of. He's holy. When a baby's born, everybody thinks they're a little angel. Something God is holy. He's so holy that even the angels proclaim how holy He is. For the fact He's Lord, He's lofty. And don't lose sight of the fact He's love. First John chapter 4 tells us, For God is love. Now that might not mean much to you until you get to thinking about how sorry you are and God still loves you. God can't never not love you. I got news for you. God's angry with the wicked every day, but he still loves them. God loves everybody in hell right now. God did not intend for them to die and go to hell. God sent his son so they wouldn't die and go to hell. And God sent his son for God to love the world. And even though they're, they're in hell, and even though they're headed to the lake of fire where they'll burn forevermore, God will still love them when they're in the lake of fire. Well, you can take refuge in the fact that God is love. Hmm? Then I thought about this. Friend, you can trust in his protection. Look at verse number 8. This is David talking. He says, Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device uh, which they are not able to perform. Uh, therefore thou shalt make them turn their back when thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy strings against the face of them. Uh, be thou exalted, Lord, in thine own strength, so will we sing and praise thy power. You can trust in his protection. You don't know how many people on the way, on the, on the way to church tonight, the devil had somebody fixing to take you out. But he couldn't. You don't know how many times he's tried to trip you up, but he couldn't. You don't know how many enemies you've really got. But you can trust the Lord's protection. I do not get up every day of my life and wring my hands worried about what the enemy thinks of me. I'm more concerned about what the Lord thinks of me. He's my protector. He's the one I trust in. He never slumbers nor sleeps. He's always on guard. Are you listening? Uh, I, just, I just hang out with him. He takes care of the rest. You, you can just trust his protection. Oh, will I have bad days? Sure, so will you. That doesn't, doesn't change the fact. The Lord is on his throne. I want to tell you something. We have bad days because we're in this flesh. This flesh is depraved by sin. If it wasn't, we could see the Lord naturally tonight. This old flesh is headed back to the dust of the earth. And this old flesh has aches and pains and problems. And don't change the fact that I can trust in the Lord because one of these days it's all going to be over. Hmm? Yeah. But even when the enemy would do harm to my flesh, he can't without God's permission. Let me say this lastly. You can trust the Lord's peace. I'd rather have his peace than all that this world has to offer. Because you can't buy peace. You can't earn peace. 
The only way you can have peace is to have the Lord because he is our peace. For the Lord is our peace, the Bible says. I said all I'd say this night, you can trust him. I don't know what you're facing, but I know you can trust him. He does all things well, friend. All things well. Even when it doesn't make sense to us, he's in control. You can trust him. Brother Greg says this, when you, when you can't... Uh, uh, trace his steps you can trust his heart hmm? a lot of times he doesn't reveal himself he's, he's present but he's in the shadows you can still trust him hmm? hey even when I can't see him he's always looking at me you can trust him you can trust him hmm? so I wonder tonight look with me in this verse look at verse number 7 of chapter 20 look at it here's where most people live and I'm talking about saved people some trust in chariots and some in horses but we will remember the name of the Lord our God that's a military verse he's saying some are trusting in the strength of their military might their chariots and their horses he said but we will remember the name of the Lord our God what are you trusting in tonight you're trusting in your abilities. You're trusting in what you can control. You're going to trust in the Lord. Friend, I trust in the Lord. Just trust in Him. The preacher, you just don't know. No, I don't. But He does. Just trust Him. And He didn't allow it to come to you just because He was bored. He allowed it in your life because He's already equipped you to handle it. How do I handle it, preacher? Trust Him. When you feel like it gets too big for you, just, just ask him. Say, Lord, I'm about ready to lose my mind. Will you help me? He will. Hmm. He's a present help in time of need. The psalmist said, I'll look unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made the heaven and the earth. Will you trust him tonight? Whatever it is, will you trust him? Maybe you need to trust him for salvation. Tonight be a good night to get saved. Maybe you need to trust him because you're facing some things you never thought you'd ever face. Put your trust in him. Maybe tonight you've been seeking for some answers on some things. You can trust him. Whatever it is, I highly recommend you trust the Lord. David said, I trusted in him, and his mercy caused me not to be moved. You know what will keep you in the center of God's will? Trust in God. I highly recommend the Lord. Let's all stand. Brother Clint, come get a song of invitation. Some trust in horses, some trust in chariots. We will remember the name of the Lord. Some are praying. God spoke to your heart once you come. Maybe you need to come pray for somebody. Maybe you need to come tell the Lord you love him because he first loved you. Maybe you need to come thank him. Maybe you need to just come tell him how sorry no good you've been. Maybe you're here tonight and you're not saved and you need to come get saved. They're picking out a song. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We're glad you're God you can, we can trust in. There are people in this world still today, God, that pray to gods of stone and gods of wood, gods of gold and silver. Pray to gods that have no ears or no mouths. And yet, God, we've got the great God of glory. We bless your holy name. A blessing this invitation these that are already in the altar bless them God bless them real good help them God those that may need to yet get in the altar help them to come we certainly pray if there's somebody here not saved they'd get saved God help your people to learn above all things to trust in the Lord my Lord have your will away we'll bless you for it for it's in Jesus name we do pray did you know that IBC is now on iTunes, TuneIn, SoundCloud, and Google Play? Head on over to your podcast provider and subscribe today. And as always, thanks for listening.